everyone. Welcome to the Human Rights, Rights Campaign. Can we start all over? Let's start all over. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Human Rights Campaign. This morning we're joined by Janice Goldwater, the founder and executive director of Adoptions Together, uh, Nathan Minnell, the CEO of Foster Care Alumni of America, and Dan McNeil, um, an adoptive parent uh, from Washington, D.C. I'm Ellen Kahn, the director of the Human Rights Campaign Family Project. Uh, this is November, National Adoption Awareness Month, and we're here to join with many other organizations and communities and individuals around the country who have taken time during this month to celebrate adoptive families across our country, as well as to raise awareness about the 129,000 children who are waiting to be adopted. Um, our interest in this, uh, this day is to also remind folks that there are many people in the LGBT community who would very much like to open their hearts and homes to children and youth waiting to be adopted. And uh, it's a community that has largely been an untapped resource. And um, many folks in the LGBT community have uh, faced some challenges in their journey to try to adopt children, um, often facing some discrimination, being held to different standards than the general population. And this is really a problem given that there are more children waiting for families uh, than we have good families to place them with. And so uh, this is a good time to be reminded that all of us who have <clears throat> the mandate and the interest and the passion to try to find families for children should be thinking about every possible pool of prospective families out there. And we know that there are many folks in the LGBT community who are, who make great parents, who want to be parents. And um, we are raising awareness today of the um, opportunities to become a resource to the 129,000 children who are waiting for a family of their own. About a year ago, the Human Rights Campaign launched the All Children, All Families Initiative, which has the primary purpose of engaging the LGBT community in opportunities to become a resource to the children who are waiting for families, as well as to engage leaders in child welfare in becoming more um, welcoming, affirming, and supportive of LGBT uh, individuals and couples who are interested in building a family through adoption. We've had great success in this first year. We have 35 agencies from around the country that have officially signed on uh, to all children, all families. They've signed a pledge of commitment, which has a very clear and public, um, has, is a very clear and public statement saying that we believe in the guiding principles of all children, all families, and we are going to look at all of our policies and practices and make sure that we welcome LGBT families and that we support them through the process and that our deeds really match our words. And um, the, um, Right now, we've issued one seal of recognition to an agency in Oakland, Family Builders, which is the, was the first to hit 10 benchmarks that we've outlined that sort of define best practices for agencies working with the LGBT community. And we have several other seals that will be issued before the end of the year, including one to Adoptions Together, um, which is represented here today. Um, we are unveiling a recruitment campaign uh, aimed at the LGBT community. This is an innovative campaign that will be implemented nationally over the course of the coming year. We're starting in Washington, D.C., and we're partnering with Adoptions Together, an agency that has indeed done the work to be ready and welcoming and to really stand behind LGBT families who come in with an interest in adopting from foster care. Um, we um, know from a recent study by the Williams Institute that there are an estimated 2 million folks in the LGBT community who are interested in adoption. And so if my math is as good as my nine-year-olds, uh, uh, if even 10% of that 10, 2 million um, took a step and started um, exploring in more depth the opportunities in foster care adoption and had agencies standing with them and believing in them, we could actually solve a problem. And a year from now, we would not have 129,000 waiting children. And that's what HRC's role and interest is, is in this initiative and why we've um, partnered with child welfare professionals and leaders to really make a difference. So I'd like to share with you our campaign, and I'd like to invite uh, Janice Goldwater to come up and share some words with you. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. It's truly 
my pleasure to be here with you today. And voila, look at our beautiful, our beautiful campaign. Thursday evening, all across the United States, families will sit down to Thanksgiving dinner. Generations that are separated by the vastness and the craziness of our lives will take a moment to reconnect as we sit down together. We'll feel the warmth and the connectedness, the connectedness of families. At the same time, across the United States, more than 100,000 children won't have this opportunity. They have no one, no family to call their own, no one to sit down with who is their own family at Thanksgiving, and no one who appreciates the richness and the beauty of their each unique beings. In our region alone, there are thousands of children who will face Thanksgiving this Thursday, as in like the day after tomorrow, thousands of children right here who will not feel the love and connectedness of family. And this must be remedied. Um, as Ellen said, I'm Janice Goldwater. I'm the founder and executive director of Adoptions Together. And um, at Adoptions Together, we believe that children grow best in families and that all children need and deserve to be a part of a family. And um, we believe that family is the fabric that binds our society together. And at Adoptions Together, we embrace healthy, strong adults with a desire to love, commit, and nurture children. Commitment is really a very big, big piece of adoption. And we have a proud history of welcoming a broad base of families. And we've been very successfully working in the LGBT community for many years and have built, men, built and supported many strong families. I'm here today to let you know that we need the LGBT community to come forward and consider adopting a child. I know that historically, many people have not been welcomed in the adoption community, and for this, I'm really sorry. And in fact, today, across the country, um, families are not welcome in every state, in every organization, and this is a tragedy. This is a tragedy, and this is one that we must remedy. I'm also here to let you know through the All Children, All Families campaign, agencies have the opportunity to gain some clarity in areas that they have blind spots about serving the gay and lesbian community, um, and develop the tools to provide a dignified and professional service. Adoptions Together is one of the many agencies that has had the opportunity to work on our own policies and uh, through our participation, and we have formalized this work, we've made improvements, we've had staff training, and we've just really taken the time and put in the work to make sure that we're a culturally competent and welcoming organization. Um, we're deeply appreciative to have had this opportunity and strongly recommend that other child-serving organizations take the time to reach out to the LGBT community to enhance your ability to welcome these prospective parents. With thousands of children waiting for a family, waiting for the chance to feel the deep connection that only family can provide, every adult, every adult that has the capacity to love and nurture a child needs to look inside themselves and see if in fact adoption can be an option for you and your family. My hope is that this campaign inspires those in the LGBT community to come forward who could be a resource for a child and say, yes, we are here, we can take a child into our family. Please know, our doors are open, children are waiting, and we need you. So, thank you.